Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at every jet jump and glide spot I've found so far on Icebox. There are a few really great spots which give jet a massive advantage in a gunfight. We'll start on the B site and work our way across the map. The first couple of spots I'm going to show you on the B site you can get to during the bite phase. For the first one, you want to come through this container and jump to this little box, and then glide off this box and boot yourself up in the air to get on top of these containers. This spot gives you a great angle onto the attackers as they come out from their spawn through this doorway and you can also have a great view on the whole of this walkway as well. If you want to play a bit further back, you can wait up here until they push further down and then sneak out and shoot them. If you've used the spot on top of these boxes the round before, you can instead just boost up here. This lets you watch both the doorway as well as the back entrance to the corridor. And as the bifay finishes, you can then glide around the side of this uh, box as well. Probably don't do this with a sniper, but if you have a rifle, you can catch them off guard. And finally, you can actually boost on top of this little area as well. You'd have to use both your boost to get up here. But again, another unexpected angle as they come around the corner. They'll be watching the pathway rather than up here. There are a couple of nice spots to use your ultimate as jet on this site. So the first one, you want to come onto this walkway, boost up, and then boost up again. And you'll be able to get an angle into anyone coming around from there. The second one, this time from the back here, you're a bit cut off from this area unless you use your smoke to get out, but still... From here, you can boost up, getting an angle to anyone coming around that corner. If instead the attackers are coming from underneath this tunnel, you can boost up behind this box to give you an angle onto them. Same on this side too. When you're looking to attack the B site, the most obvious jump is to jump up onto this platform, and then you can push down this lane instead of having to come out of this door revealing yourself here. And then you can jump across these crates. If you peek from this angle as one of your teammates peeks from down low, you'll be able to get an easy double fire onto anyone in this area. And then from here, you can again just jump up onto these boxes. In a post-plant situation, if you come up here, you'll have the element of surprise onto anyone pushing into the B site, but if they can know your position, you'll be easily shot as there's no cover from up here. And from up here, you can easily glide into this box, so if the defenders are holding the zip wire, you can still get up here and peek them from an unexpected angle. And if you want to use your ultimate, if you can get onto this box, you can boost yourself up over this and hit anyone in this area. Next, we're going to be looking at all the spots for the attackers in the mid section of the map. So for the first one, you can come up onto this box and then glide across here. You want to be careful whilst doing this as you're a bit revealed from any defenders who push up into this area. So maybe you want your team to be holding this angle for you as you do this, but you can still do this quite easily. And then if you want to get on top of the tunnel, there's two ways. So the first one, if you're crossing this gap, it can be quite dangerous because the defenders can be holding from that angle. So from here, if you do jump and then use your dash, you'll get across quickly before they can shoot you. And then you can either peek them like this or you can peek out into the B site. But you can actually do this jump without using any boosts. You're a bit of a sitting duck in midair whilst you do it. But if you can do it whilst it's smoked or whilst you know there's no defenders there, it's a way to get up there without any utility usage. This is probably the most difficult spot on the map so far and you have to crouch as you're landing to just boost yourself up onto the tunnel finally but once you've got it down it's a really useful jump spot to have just while i was editing i realized it wasn't super clear how to land this jump so i've slowed it down and i'll try and explain it now the most important part is to strafe jump as close to the left hand wall as possible then as you're gliding through the air aim at the joint between the raised dark section and the tunnel roof finally as you're about to land repeatedly press the crouch button which will help you boost onto the roof Anyway, hopefully this is a bit clearer and we'll get back to the video. There are a couple of nice spots in the midsection for the defence. So the first one, in the kitchen area, you can jump up onto this bridge, like this. You can't move much, but if anyone's coming out of the tunnel or even jumping through this door, they're not going to expect you to be up here, so it's just not an angle well check, so you should be able to get the drop on them for an easy kill. An ultimate spot for the kitchen area is if you come out onto this platform, double jump over these crates, you can see into the attacker spawn. If you're coming towards the B site and you know that there's attackers in that area, you can jump up onto this railing and get onto this roof quite easily and then jump up onto the next platform and then you can peek round. It's just another unexpected angle. And finally, we're going to have a look at the A site. We'll start with the defensive spots. So this first one is actually really sort of a rush you can do onto the platform by the attacker's entrance to the A site. So as the round starts, you can run and jump and then dash and then jump up onto this platform. And if the attackers don't come up here straight away, or if they aren't in position to run up here straight away, you can get the drop on them. So you can get up here pretty safely, as long as they're not right at the top of this ramp, and then you can either peek either of these doorways. If you've done this spot before, you can instead drop down onto this box, 
or you can just come here and jump up onto this box to catch anyone coming around this corner. In general on the site, you can just jump around all of these platforms and you can get some interesting angles from them. Very easy to get around this jet. So the angle I like on the defense is if you're coming up onto this box, you can see as the attackers come into the A site from this area and obviously as they come around this corner. You're not in much cover here, but if you manage to get a kill, fall back and you should be able to catch them off guard using that spot. If you're playing more aggressive, you can jump up using this bit as cover. Jump up, get down. You should be able to catch their heads as they come around this angle. Just be careful from your left hand side. If you want to use your ultimate in this site, you can use any of these boxes as cover and jump up from behind them just to catch them off guard. The attacking side of this site, first one I'm just going to show you is on top of this box. This is good in a post plant situation. If you're unsure if the defenders are going to flank through your spawn, this one's a good angle to keep them on their toes as they come in. If you manage to get into this area of the A site, you can get onto these boxes quite easily and then jump around these onto this platform. You can do this as any character, but it's obviously easier as jet. And you can come here and you've got quite a nice head glitch on any defenders in this area. Once the spike's planted and you're trying to defend the A site, if you can get up onto this platform, you can use this using your jumps or any number of ways if you're up in this area. Come up onto this platform and you have a great angle if any defenders are rotating through their spawn. You can shoot them like this. Just in case you need to know, you can also jump through this window if you need to. You have to crouch once you land, but you can get through. You don't have to go through the door there. And if you want to get onto these rafters, you can just boost yourself up. Very easy. You can actually jump around here as well. Just use a, trip, a zip wire. Jump across. Just if you want to hold this angle. And again, very similar with the ultimate usage. You can just use any of these boxes as cover and jump over them to get angles onto people they may not expect. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. I'll have more Icebox content coming out soon, and I've already made a video going over some great wallbang spots on the map. Thanks for watching!